Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It's Cagliari up against Inter. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. The starting lineup for Cagliari. Well, as you can see, they're playing with a front two, three central midfield players and a couple of wing backs. It's a great system when played well, but it does leave them vulnerable to switches of play. The Inter starting lineup. Sami Handanovic begins between the posts. Stefan de Frey plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And this confrontation is underway. An effective challenge. And the ball's gone. This might have potential. Played into the box. Well, thumped clear. Well, Inter have hit the heights in terms of scoring goals. Can't argue with that record. Well, their attacking play on the road has been second to none. It's been inventive, it's been precise, and most importantly, it's been clinical. They really do play with such confidence when they break forward, which I'm sure we'll see again today. Alberto Grassi. Moving forward effectively. And he takes it on! Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Well, no escape. Not an immediate yellow card, but the referee deals with him now. Barella and it's with Dumfries Dzeko well they keep passing away well he could really get at the opposition and how about that for a save getting in there to intercept Naitan Nandes Grassi and they continue to advance and a lot of options here but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Dzeko well a top-notch piece of defensive judgment this attack looks highly promising Dzeko won it back just made sure nothing came of that
Joao Pedro. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, he's given us away. Brozovic. It's with Milan Skriniar. Chalanolu. Dzeko. Perisic with the ball. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. Well, Inter, as you can see, have had most of the ball, but their attacking players lack tempo, invention and goal. Something they need to rectify quickly if they're going to win this one. Firing it in, and still an opportunity. Well, they can keep possession of it now. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Good technique displayed. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, just look at his strength. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Underway once again with Inter in front. Good vision. Can he get onto this? He's given it straight to the opposition. The first half here comes to an end. Well, it's advantage Inter after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from the issue being settled here. Barella. Dzeko. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Read it well. Dzeko. Really classy goalkeeping. Offside, not that anyone knew. <laughs> Naita Nandez. And here's Gaston Pereiro. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. And quite simply, wide of the target.
Brozovic. Martinez. Dzeko. Now, what can Inter do from this position? Chalanolu. Martinez. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And while it's certainly not a clean strike of the ball, he makes enough contact on it to beat the keeper. He won't care how it goes in as long as it does. Time for a change then. So 2-0 now. 30 minutes left for play. Brozovic. It's with Chalhanolu. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Martinez. And a body in the way. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Palms away by the keeper. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Valencia, as you can see, have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Goldaniga. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Naitan Nandez. Well, possession seeded. Messino. Getting in there to intercept. Chance to run at them. The delivery towards the back post. A very effective clearance. Dzeko Martinez Vecino on the ball well read to ease the pressure and just five minutes remaining this looks interesting brilliantly blocked Did well to win the ball back. And a textbook interception. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. So the final whistle, the referee says that will be all for this game. And the big headline is Inter victorious. What did you think of their performance all told? Well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward and have players who can pass defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating.